Sometimes we need more memory for our sketches. In this quickie, I show you how to get it without heating up your soldering iron. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Most of the ESP32 modules have 4 MB flash memory chips. But if you look at the usable memory size, you only get about 1 MB, which is roughly one quarter of your flash memory. With a blink sketch, this is no problem. It only uses 13% of the available space. But if you use the simple BLE server example, which is just a few lines long, it occupies already 85% of your flash memory. If you add some other libraries, you quickly get an out of memory error. Where is the 3 megabyte memory we paid for? Do you remember the words SPIFFS and OTA from the ESP8266? SPIFFS is a simple file system which was already available on the ESP8266. In the right upper corner, you find a link to the video and OTA means update over the air. Both are very handy if you need them, but they need memory space. With the ESP32 there is a simple way to find out how much they use and also to change their size. The ESP32 splits its memory into partitions, like we partition our disks on the PC. Usually six partitions exist. They are called Base, NVS, OTA Data, App0, App1, EEPROM and SPIFFS. If we look at the default configuration, we see that only App0, App1 and SPIFFS have a relevant size. We see also that App0 and App1 have the same size. And the size of App0 is the same as we saw in our Arduino IDE. It is the available space for our sketch. Both have to have the same size because during an OTA update, the ESPs first load the whole new sketch in the App1 partition. Only if it knows that everything went well, it copies the new sketch into App0, the partition where your sketches reside. If something with the OTA went wrong, the ESP still has its old sketch and it can try again to download the new sketch. The bigger the space for our sketch in App0, the bigger also App1. If we want to increase App0, we also have to increase App1. This leads us to a configuration where we have to sacrifice the space for SPIFFS or the OTA capability for more sketch space. The two different possibilities are called min SPIFFS and no OTA. The min SPIFFS configuration creates nearly double the sketch space and our BLE server example uses only 57%. Cool. You still have full OTA capabilities and 60k spiffs, which is still a lot. With the no OTA config, you get even a little more space for your sketch. The BLE server uses now only 53% and the spiffs is even larger as in the default configuration. But you cannot do over the air updates. You have the choice. The last configuration is not essential for us. It deals with smaller flash chips. So far, I did not encounter any such board. But how complicated is it to change the partition table? Very simple. You can select it in the Tools menu of the Arduino IDE. And in case you do not like the available choices, you can add your own partition table. You copy the closest partition file, rename it and adapt the content to your needs. Then you go to boards.txt and add these definitions. Of course, you have to adjust these numbers to your partition scheme. Done. Now you can work with BLE without out of memory. I hope this quickie was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.